name is Johnny Locke. I'm a division chief of the Memphis Fire Department. Been with the department for 31 years. I'm here today to uh, do the final inspection on our E1 Typhoon uh, custom uh, engine. We've introduced a lot of new concepts on this pumper from the pumpers that we've had in the past. The city of Memphis is roughly 215 square miles. We've got a population of over 650,000. Uh, it's an extremely busy fire department. We made over 180,000 calls last year. We have 51 engines, four quints, over 20 trucks. We've got three rescue trucks and uh, approximately 30 uh, emergency units in the city of Memphis. So what we did on this uh, engine was we uh, went clean cab, 80% clean cab, and we basically did that because of some of the uh, some of the uh, stuff that Rev Group has put out on clean cab. You can either go 100% or 80%. If you go 100%, none of the firefighters' gear goes inside the cab. If you do 80%, they are allowed to use their uh, to uh, enter the cab with their turnouts. Uh, that is the only gear that should enter the uh, interior of the, uh, of the engine. Everything else will be stored out here on the outside. So when the firefighter exits, exits, the, uh, exits the engine, he will pull this slide out, grab his air tank, put it on his back, get the rest of his gear, and he'll go to the fire. Another advantage of this design is that it reduces the amount of equipment that's inside the uh, engine that could become projectiles if they have an accident. What we uh, specified in the design is this uh, pull-out uh, step that will make it much easier for our firefighters to load the uh, pre-connected beds. So using this step, they'll be able to easily load pre-connects where before we were standing on this small sideboard and you'd actually have to have somebody helping hold you up here while you loaded hose. Another uh, thing that we've added to the uh, new design on our engines is a uh, decon hose. So the decon hose will hook up underneath here. It'll be stored so after the firefighter has uh, gotten done fighting fire and they're ready to uh, uh, get ready to leave the scene as soon as possible really, we'll go ahead and uh, pull this de de decon uh, line. Uh, and clean their uh, turnouts as much as possible while on the scene. And the uh, decon is also heated, so in the wintertime they'll have a, a, a source of warm water to do their decon. Once their uh, turnouts are decon, there will be an empty compartment for the firefighters to put those uh, turnouts in until we get back to the station unless they make another, uh, another fire call. Something else that we did is we went with a lower hose, hose bed design. On the uh, pumpers before this, uh, this, these specs were wrote, the hose beds had got taller and taller and we're, we actually had a ladder on the side so they could uh, get up to the top of the hose bed. Uh, this we felt like it was a safety issue and not very conducive to the type of work we do because we are a busy fire department. So we designed the newer, uh, newer pumper, the newer specs with this lower hose, uh, hose bed design, which makes it much easier for them to pull hose off the, uh, off the rear of the engine. So another thing that we did was added a uh, two and a half inch discharge on the rear. This will allow us to do a two and a half inch uh, pre-connected line that will uh, that can be pulled out. You know, just m once you get on the scene, instead of having to uh, pull the line like we're used to and connect it to the pump panel on the uh, side of the engine. This paint job is uh, representative of the University of Memphis Tigers. Uh, that that's the uh, local college that it, that is in our uh, hometown in Memphis, Tennessee, and this. Uh, this theme was uh, brought up as an idea from one of our uh, deputy chiefs and we carried it to the university and the university absolutely loved the idea and that's why we ended up with this paint scheme. Uh, this paint scheme uh, has got scotch light in the striping so we, we, we were able to do away with the stripe down the side. This uh, engine will go in the engine house that is located nearest the university. We've had a uh, great relationship with E1 and with uh, Sunbelt. Uh, Thomas McClendon has worked with us uh, throughout the process, helping us with the design, telling us uh, you know, what w was available, what wasn't available, doing the final inspection, and the final inspection went great. It's been a great working re relationship. Right now we've got uh, this pumper, which is uh, our Mep University of Memphis theme pumper. We've got uh, another pumper that is our, our normal uh, red color. We've got uh, two more aerials that are in production right now, and we've got two more pumpers and two more trucks on order for next year. Now, we were ext extremely excited. Uh, of course, it's a total, total redesign for the city of Memphis. Uh, I think there was even more excitement because of the University of Memphis theme pumper. Uh, 
and it was uh, really great to actually see it. We, we had seen pictures of it before, but to see it in, uh, in, in real life was, uh, was really exciting. It was uh, more than we expected when we got here.